One character, I should probably learn his name, but uh, the main character, here, I'm just going to look it up. Lucky, we're just going to cut this out real quick. Uh, handshake, ooh, season two, I hope not. Hey guys, welcome to Anime Casuals, I'm Johnny, and today I'm going to be talking about an anime called Handshakers. Um, now, I had to watch this because in one of our previous videos, we played an anime game, and I lost horribly. So... I was given an anime to watch as punishment, and that anime was Handshakers. Um, <clears throat> so what can I say about Handshakers? Uh, when I was first told about this anime from Lucky, he told me that it was really bad. I don't remember his exact words. I don't know if he said it was the worst anime, or if it was presumed the worst, but it was definitely not good. After learning about my punishment anime, uh, we looked at some of the comments, and uh, they said some interesting things. It looks like a video game. I think someone said it was hentai. Just not not a lot of good stuff for the anime. So, I took a look into it. So, Handshakers is an anime about... A, I'll call it a tournament anime, just to really simplify it at the beginning, but it's about the main character, Tazuna, and the other main character, Koyori, which Tazuna meets her and she's in a coma, in a bed, and he holds her hands, her hand, sorry, hand, and uh, she wakes up. And then he is thrust into this big tournament to basically uh, meet with God and uh, get a wish from God. What that means? Not really sure. They're in this tournament where uh, handshaker pairs, so two people, um, I don't know, just walk around and randomly run into each other. Basically, the signal for this is... Oh, two people holding hands. Uh, so, you know, all the couples are just killing each other. No. So the handshakers get thrust into this other world and they fight with supernatural powers. Now, the key difference with uh, our main characters and every other handshaker pair, while you just need to hold hands to activate your powers, which are called Nimrods. I don't think that's a great name, but... You know, decisions. But the biggest difference, as I was saying, Koyori has some kind of condition which makes it so she needs to be holding hands with Tazuna or she will die. It doesn't go very much into that until way later in the series, but they have to hold hands the entire time. There is an episode later though where, I don't know, it seems like she goes most of a day, maybe half a day without holding his hand, but I don't know, again, the rules of this are strange. So they have to hold hands the entire time, even when fighting. So I think that summarizes the, what the anime is about and, uh, you know, the conflict that they have to face. To talk about the first episode, first off, let's talk about how it looks. So when the comments were saying that it looks like a video game, I actually, I, I see where that was coming from. There are a lot of scenes where they use this animation, and I'm not really sure what to call it. It makes me feel almost like how you'll see a lot of 3D animation more so in anime today, which, I don't know, maybe that's still, you call it 3D animation, but it just looks different, and I don't necessarily know why. They use this animation for a lot of different moments throughout the anime. It's actually more heavily used in the beginning than later on, and that actually helps it, the fact that they really pull back on the, uh, strange animation. So in addition with the weird animation, they also do some weird camera work and they fill it in with this animation. So they're trying to do some pretty crazy things and if it looked good, I could see how it would definitely be a pull because I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It feels like how 3D used to look, which is really not very good, which I always go back to Knights of Sidonia on Netflix years ago. I couldn't get into it because the animation just really wasn't appealing. It was too early, it was not good, it was choppy and just gross. I couldn't handle it. So there's a little bit of that in uh, Handshakers. They definitely tried doing some tricky CG stuff. And that being said, there's, a, there's times where it actually looks good too. There's a couple moments where you can see sunlight coming in through some of the windows and it does that dust effect where you can see the dust flying in the air. And when I first saw it, I actually thought, that looks really nice, That it looks good. However, they use it for the rest of the scene, which is like, I don't know, a good five minutes. And after a while, I did get tired of it because they were using it so much, 
so often. I just, I, I couldn't help not looking at it, and so it was just too much. I mean, there were moments where it looked good, moments where it didn't look good. To address the matter of, I'll just call it the fan service side, the first episode is damning. I will say that. That comment that says, this is hentai, I absolutely see where you get that from. That first episode is crazy. It is pretty gnarly in how they do that, where I guess, again, because these handshakers, you know, they all have bonds with each other, a certain special, specific bond to them and uh, how they operate with their partner. I guess the this first chick's power is done by arousal or something, you know, chains. As she gets more aroused or put down, however that works for her, you know, she produces more power and that works out for the guy. So that was an extreme case in that first episode. It's definitely like, whoa, throwing it right at you. But they really don't follow up with that at all. And then the only other fan service part I would say would be one of the characters, I actually don't remember her name. In the in the first episode, she's got a bit of jiggle physics in there. And I, I did think that is unnecessary jiggle. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just recognizing the fact that that's just, there's no reason for that. Because, you know, all she's doing is, uh, I think, listening to music. And she's just, she's bouncing. There's just bouncing, you know, as you do in class. So that, that kind of addresses the whole fan service issue. It's really, it doesn't go more into that. Uh, that first episode is really the biggest case of that. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is probably some story aspects that I had problems with. I had a problem, one, with the character buildups that you see, because the way it would operate is you would be introduced to some characters early on or uh, earlier in the anime, which I actually don't mind that. I think that's totally fine to be like, here's this person. Forget about them. And then some episodes later, they come back. That's fine, that's totally cool. However, what I don't like, and I don't know, maybe it was just, I'll be honest, maybe I was just trying to find some stuff wrong with it, but it just, it struck me, it struck me pretty hard, you know? It came at me. But they do a lot of these big buildups with these characters to a pretty far point. I mean, if you, okay. The next pair of Handshakers, they do most of an episode just talking about their daily life job which, I don't know, I mean, I was fine with it for the first time, but then they do that a few too many times, and I'm not into it. It just gets dull, because I, I know what's coming, and it's a format they just repeat quite a few times. I mean, like I said, that, that's the second couple you see. By the third couple, I already knew what was gonna happen. They do show some, I feel like, interesting dynamics and uh, different versions of uh, relationships, I guess, and what is, I guess, defined as love. At least I'm trying to give it some credit for something. I mean, if we want to be harsh about it, there, there's some light incest and not even, there's no physical, but I'm just saying, they're gonna go on a trip somewhere. I don't know where that's leading. Different anime. I'll just leave it at that. I guess the other thing I will say about the plot that I had a problem with is, I'll draw this comparison which I don't try to do usually, but it feels very fate-ish as far as there's partners, they are thrust into a game which has apparently been going on, I think they said possibly till since medieval times. So, Holy Grail War, you know, get a wish from God War. I guess the difference between them and a big thing, which actually it makes Handshakers lose itself a little bit, would be there really isn't too much consequence I admittedly I started to pay attention a little bit less in the middle of the anime. Every one of these instances of them fighting, it really just ends with kind of like, oh man, I lost. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go, you know, be sad about it for a while and then I'll just move on with my life. Whatever. I don't care for that. There's no weight to their decisions because they all walk away. And I'm not saying everyone needs to die, but it's a wish from God. I mean, you think people would be crazier about it. I don't know. I guess my final thoughts, yeah, there's a lot of issues with this anime. They're not necessarily the worst issues. Uh, I mean, like I said, the first episode is really the worst of them all. I mean, you could almost categorize it differently. It's so much different. I mean, like I said, everything that happens in the first episode that makes you say, whoa, is gonna scale back just hard in the following episodes. And then you won't really see it again. Um, then it becomes just a regular tournament anime in which there's not a whole lot going on. It could have been better, but it's not. Last thing I will say, as something I just forgot, the cast is actually 
interesting. And then there's people I recognize, so clearly they worked on some kind of, you know, I don't want to, I don't know if budget is the right word, but they worked on getting actual, or get actual people. They worked on getting people that um, had some clout, I'll say. And, you know, you can, you can hear it, but it's just not enough to really pull the anime above what it is. I don't know, which is, I don't know, not much. Anime with not too much substance. It's not that bad of an anime, but it's definitely not anything to write home about. So that's how I feel about uh, Handshakers. Yeah, thanks for watching my longest video. Wah! So, that's Anime Casuals. Thanks, guys.